What's good sports gamers and with 2K20 right around the corner, ratings have started to come out and NBA players have started to give their opinions on their own ratings. So let's see what they got to say. Alright, let's get it. I want my 2K rating to be a 99. <laughs> First, let's see what Boston Celtics forward Jason Tatum thinks of his. Your uh, rating should be an NBA 2K20. Well, I think it should be. Well, if you think about it, my numbers, all my numbers was up from last year. Yeah. So I was 87 last year. So, <laughs> what is it? It's an 85. What? I was right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cash I was is back right. there angry. Disrespectful. Oh, no, Cash has got 85. I got it right. Dan, Dan Shiggy, That's disrespectful. Chris. <laughs> Let's just say Tatum isn't too fond of his 2K20 rating. It's a bit of a fall from grace in a way, considering he started 2K19 at an 87. Top with the two guys who beat him for Rookie of the Year, Ben Simmons and Donovan Mitchell. Only to end 2K19 at a 84, 4 points below Simmons and 3 below Mitchell. And start 2K20 obviously still trailing behind both. I mean expectations for Tatum was sky high coming into the season after averaging 18 in the playoffs. But I'm still not seeing this crazy potential that he's untouchable in trades that others see. He's a young Tobias Harris if you ask me. But because he's young, people imagine he could become much more, which technically is true, but I don't see it. He was one of the worst ISO scorers in the league last year I read somewhere. That's not pretty. Next up, we got Trey Young coming into 2K20 at an 85, who started 2K19 at a 77. Although he began slow last year, he turned it on around the midway point into 2K19 at an 84, three points behind Doncic and making a serious case for Rookie of the Year. Young is an exciting player with his combination of shooting and playmaking and should see his rating even flirt with a 90 by year's end if he continues to improve the way he did throughout the year. Next up is Kimball Walker who starts at an 88 but he has a different approach as far as his 2K rating goes. <laughs> you played uh, NBA 2K? Yeah. Are you satisfied, are you with, your satisfied with your character rating? Um. I guess. You yeah. guess? Yeah, I mean, nah, that, that don't when, I, like, I, I guess, when I get it, like, when I get the game, I just go edit myself and put my <laughs> You gotta respect it. Although Jokic appears to not have a Twitter account, the official Nuggets Twitter had his back regarding his rating of 90, thinking he should be higher, and whoever runs the Nuggets Twitter account taking this layup of a comeback, responding to 2K saying Jokic should get a Twitter account and maybe they'll consider raising his rating. Although joking, is Jokic rating too low? For centers, he's rated third behind Joel Embiid and Anthony Davis. Embiid is a 91 and Davis is a 94. First off, if you feel Jokic should be higher, so should Embiid. What I would have done is made Davis about a 96. Embiid takes Davis rating and Jokic probably around a 92. There has to be some difference in the fact Davis and Embiid are that much better than Jokic on defense. Now before I get all the Jokic is good on deep people in the comments, while that could be true, Davis and the beat a defensive player of the year worthy, so him being third is a win. Next we got Nuggets guard Monte Morris who's very happy with his 77. The second round pick had a breakout year last year averaging 10 points a game for the Nuggets, so from his point of view and the fact he probably was a 60 something at a start of 2K19, it's all love. Now we got Bobby Portis who isn't too happy with the fact 2K hasn't been on point as far as hairstyles go. Portis basically says they still got me rocking waves and I haven't had them in forever. And I can't disagree. Kyrie just got his hair updated for 20 so that should tell you something. Here's Terrence Ross who just signed a new contract with Orlando Magic who gets a 79. He's found his role being the sixth man off the bench for the young Magic squad. Shot 38% from three, averaging 15 a game last year, so he's definitely found his lane. Did I wish the Sixers grabbed him instead of Simmons when we traded Fultz? Yeah. Am I salty he signed back with Orlando this season instead of us? Also, yes. Next, we got Anthony Simons coming into 2K20 as a 72. The youngster assumes the backup point goal role on the Blazers this year and played pretty well in Summer League. So maybe he will start to show some of that huge potential he had coming into the league as a first round pick and have his rating rise throughout the season. Next we got the $170 million man Jamal Murray who also approves of his 2K rating which is an 84. Two points from where he finished last year. Still only 22, he's the second best player in the Nuggets. More of a scorer than a playmaker as we saw against the Boston Celtics this past year. So the 84 more or less reflects that. 
He's not going to give you that much outside of shooting, so he'll probably roam in the mid to high 80s ratings throughout his 2K career because of that. Here's 2K cover boy Anthony Davis and his thoughts on his 94 rating. My rating is 94. Uh, the goal is to be the first 100 uh, rating. Um, obviously, it's going to take a lot of work. You know, Michael Jordan even rated 99, so nobody's ever been 100. So, uh, you know, it's going to come with a lot of, lot of work, um, a lot of winning, a lot of you know, championship, a lot of personal accolades. So um, I'm excited about the, the challenge, you know, and like the goal is to, to be the first 100. Now I mentioned briefly, but I think Davis is rated too low. He literally does everything except shoot threes like Steph. Something like a 96 or get that cover boy love and get a 97 would have been good with me. As long as MB wasn't too far behind. Next we got Andre Drummond and his amazing three act play. Honestly, I never followed Drummond until recently, but the only time I see his account mentioned on Twitter is when he's getting sunned or has hurt feelings. What's going on, man? Now we got some of the rookies and what they hope their rating will be. Helpers, I hope my overall is at least a 75. See a little. Uh, by the end of the year, I think my rating is going to be like an 85. I'm Cam Reddish. I play for the Atlanta Hawks. I think I'll be like an 85 by the end of my rookie year. I'm John Morant with the Memphis Grizzlies. I want my 2K rating to be a 99. Who do you think will end up with the highest rating of the rookies to end the season? Zion, Morant, or do you have a sleeper guy you think will rise the ranks and shock us all? Let me know in the comments down below. Now here's some new screenshots that have come out since our last video. First we got Ben Simmons whose rating will be at 87 to start 2K20. He's rocking a headband in this screenshot. I don't know about that. He didn't wear that every game. Other than that, he's going down one point from the final roster update of 2K19, which I ask why. Mitchell went up and Ben went down. Simmons is obviously one person who can help his overall ton if he ever learns to not even shoot a great shot. Just a respectable one. Will that ever come? I don't know. His beard also does look a little better though in this screenshot. Next, we got De'Aaron Fox at an 86. Now, I'll fully admit, I didn't want the Sixers to draft him when he came out. He was just a regular, super fast guy who couldn't shoot, and all he could do is drive. We ended up with Fultz, so I deserve that. But I didn't see this improvement this quickly from him. Dude is legit nice, and because of that, he sports a nice 86 rating to start 2K20, going up three points from the end of 2K19. Still only 21 years old, the sky's the limit for him. The Kings have turned into a fun team to use on 2K really quickly with Fox, Hield, and Bagley. I gotta give him props. Next, we have Derrick Rose at an 80, who actually went down two from the end of last year. Now, 2K is quick to give young guys love. Some deserve it, some don't. But Rose goes out and averages 18 points on good shooting splits, and he goes down two points? They couldn't give him an 83, 84 rating? Not even because of his name, but he straight up deserved it based on last year's play. This one has me confused. Now we got Ricky Rubio at a 78. I'm interested in his, in his fit on the Suns. They had no point guard last year, so even getting an at worst league average guard should do wonders for them. How will he play with Booker and Aiden though? I'm definitely going to be watching how they play this year. Next is Serge Ibaka at a 81. Probably the second best player on the raft now. Goes down one point from his 2K19 rating. Here's Willie Hernan Gomez rolling out here with a 76. And Mark Gasol starts 2K20 at an 82. I feel bad for Gasol now. Gets sent to a contender, wins the title, then that team turns into a potential scrub a year later. I mean, he had a choice and took the money, but still. But hold up, let me go back to Derrick Rose real quick. This is just from last season. 48% from the field. 37% from three. 85% from the line. 18 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, didn't tear his ACL. That's an 80 overall. Unknown player. 45% from the field, 37 from 3, 85% from the line, 16 points, 6 boards, 2 assists, 85 overall. I demand a recount. But with that, stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more players react to their 2K rating as more get revealed. Stay tuned here also for more NBA 2K20 news. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. 
and be good, y'all. Fun video coming up. We've got Ben Simmons fresh off of oh, a new boy. $170 million contract with the 76ers. Let's see what he says about his 2K rating. I think at the end of the season, my rating is going to be 90 plus for sure, and I can guarantee that. Oh, boy.